and welcome back to this amazing fishing challenge by the canal. Ooh, yes. Yeah, that's going in <laughs> that's by the way, going that's going in. in. <laughs> that's never going to make it. Okay. Hi there folks, welcome back to the Yever and Andy Fishing Channel. This is Andy. That's Ivy. Yever. Uh, we've come out today for a little session on the canal just for a couple of hours after work. Um, it's one of those snap fishing trips. We weren't expecting to be here, but all of a sudden, who'd have thought it would have appeared next to water with fishing kit? It happens. <laughs> Bit of a weird one today. Uh, I asked IB to do me a favour after work and pick up some envelopes for me from Poundland. Bit menial, bit boring. Um, somehow, IB's managed to come out of Poundland with a pack of soft plastics and jig heads and a little hard bait. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> Did also pick up the envelopes, but more importantly, all of a sudden, we've got a load more fishing kit. That was one pound, that was one pound. So for two quid, there's an awful lot of baits there. So we thought, here's a challenge. So I, B and I are both gonna fish for one hour, uh, each with a packet of these baits. Whoever catches the most fish at the end of the hour, wins. Is the winner. And what does the winner get? I'm not sure, what do we get? We need something here, don't we? Uh, uh, should we do a dinner again? Yeah, all right really then. All right. Loser buys dinner. I quite fancy chips, just saying. So as I say, we're down by the canal, we're gonna crack on. Um, we'll talk a bit more about the baits, but I think we'll get rigged up and we'll get fishing. Let's get cracking. Let's do it. So as I say, bit of a random one, this funny little pack, brand called Lurking. I've never heard of them, they probably don't exist. It's probably some weird own brand thing. Uh, in there we've got six different baits. We've got two shads that look like a very close copy of another quite famous lure. We've got four different curl tails in various sizes. Uh, we've got a little purple creature bait in there. Look, kind of, I'm quite looking forward to using that one. Plus three quite dubious looking jig heads. They look a bit ropey. The little hard bait, I, I, I don't know, I haven't opened it yet. The, I'm sure the hooks probably aren't the best. But it's got a bit of a rattle to it, nice redhead pattern, but decent finish again for a quid. Willing to give it a go. I think that's what we need to do now. We'll give this a go. Right, so the rule's very simple. Each angler has one hour to catch as many fish as they can using that pack and little hard bait. So the object is to catch fish on as many different lures as possible. This isn't a numbers of fish challenge. This is a numbers of fish caught on each individual lure. I think I'm going to win anyway. I'm not really <laughs> yeah, worrying well, about the rules. We might rooms. as well just give it away now. So we need to decide who's going to go first. And being the gentleman that I am, I'm going to let you decide. Who's going first, Ivy? I will go first. You're going to go first, are you? Okay, that's first. brilliant, because that means you're going to show me where all the perch are, and then I'll mop them up in the second hour. Are you feeling confident? I am as confident as I've ever been in my entire life. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> right, Ivy. Are you ready? No. Time starts in three, two, one, go! Get me up, get me up, with it! I don't want to break my nails. <laughs> this is such a hard plastic. There goes nothing. IB, talk us through the first 10 minutes. I don't like it. Like, why is that lure barely pierceable through? Like, what's wrong with it? And it's really windy, which doesn't help. I don't know, perhaps I'm just really bad at fishing. Maybe that's it. How long? 35 minutes left. I'm not sure why they added the tail to this lure, because it doesn't do anything. Oh, 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 that's perch. That's perch. I'm sure that is perch. So I've just seen tiny, tiny stripes. Obviously, this piece of cement is not doing anything and is way too big. So we're going to try and change the smallest one I can see. This little guy here. Okay, let's try this. as a perch. 
No? Nope. More weed, more weed, more weed. Twenty-five minutes, Ivy. Twenty-five minutes to go. Good. I'll put out out of my misery. Look at that. Like even even if I shake it, it doesn't really do anything. Where are those stupid perch? Come on, it's fifteen minutes remaining, Ivy. Only fifteen minutes. You're not feeling confident? Not really. <laughs> no. It doesn't do anything. Perhaps I will try another bait. I literally had it right but right next to one fish, the fish swam to the other direction. Hi B, you're coming up to seven minutes remaining. Seven minutes remaining. Seven more minutes of torture. You looking forward to this? Can't wait till I finish. I beat you. Got less than five minutes left. What are you doing? I gave up. What? I gave up. Why? I don't want to be fishing these lures anymore. I'm just gonna chill for five minutes, get my energy back, so I could bully Andy while he's fishing. You know how um, bad anglers blame everything: the weather, the lures, the kid, everything. That's what I'm doing right now. Five minutes, and it's gonna be Andy's turn. Three, two, one. Time up, Ivy. How do you think that went? I'm not allowed to swear, am I? No. Okay. Not as well as I expected. Should we have a little half-time team talk? Yes. Let's do it. Talk us through that, IB. Talk us through it. That went bad. Uh, I'm not sure if the, if the lures are really awful or if it's my really bad fishing. Probably a bit of both. But I'm really excited to see Andy rock this. You excited? Having watched that and actually what, what you ever says there is absolutely right. There's so little movement in those lures. Um, they are the hardest soft plastic baits I've ever used. I'm not particularly looking forward to this, but one of the advantages I've got with going second is that I now know that the soft baits are rubbish. What we don't know is anything about that hard bait, and I think that's going to be my plan for the first half an hour. I'm going to give that hard bait a go. Good luck. <laughs> Let's do it. Are you ready? Uh, as ready as I'll ever be. I think this is going to be very hard. Start! Right, we're taking that fluorocarbon off straight away. Having watched IB bounce those, I was going to say soft plastics then, but those rock hard plastics around. I'm not interested. I've only got to catch one fish, so I'm going to gamble on the beaner. Stupid jack pike somewhere around here. It might take that hard bait. We've got a couple of wire traces with us, obviously. We're not going to use fluorocarbon for the pike, so I'm going to bang a wire trace on here and hopefully that'll, that'll be the way. Nice light trace. You can tell it's a competition with IB. I'm already panicking. Ready, so that guy is going to have to do it for me. I don't know if it floats, I don't know if it sinks, I don't know if that lip works properly. One thing I do know is that I definitely don't trust those trebles, so I'm going to get all those properly debarbed before we throw it. One last one, come on. Right. Okay. Right, we'll have a couple of throws just a bit further up here. One fish, I just need one fish. This thing does in the water. Doesn't look that bad, does it? That might do it, you know. That might just do it. Little jerks and switching, dives a little bit. Uh, you never know. I could have just come up with a master stroke. Right, the game plan is to be as mobile as possible. Cast a move, cast a move. We've got to cover some water, so I am off again. No fish, lots of weed, but do you know what? For a pound, this thing's doing okay. Good rattle, nice twitching, erratic action. You can give it a stop and it'll tease round and suspends quite nicely. Still confident with this, I might have this one. Yuck. 
See that? Yeah. Damn it. Get in here. Get in here. Perch? Perch. Get in here. Get in here. Oh no! Where is he? Oh, oh, oh. Boom! In the net. Get in! <laughs> so fell out the net, that's the advantage of debarbing them, even trebles will fall out, and while this might not be the biggest perch you'll ever see on YouTube, it has just earned me a chippy dinner. Yeah! Very ambitious perch. Very ambitious perch, you wanted that. No messing about. Awesome. Right, let's get you back, buddy. Hi, B. How do you feel about that? That is one all on the challenges right there. Not Rich. happy. <laughs> it was hard work. How, far, how long did it take? 39.57. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty chuffed with that, 20 minutes. We'll get tidied up here and I think we'll have a little debrief on this one. And we'll talk about who won and who lost. Okay. I'm not the happiest person in the world at the moment. Just trying to think how that little song went. I am the trout queen. I am the winner. <laughs> I am the perch king. You are the winner. <laughs> How do you feel about that? I feel like it wasn't my fault. I didn't want to cheat and use hard baits. You felt like you have to, so you know. Poundland lure challenge, I'd be use whatever <laughs> baits you can. No, to be fair to I'd be the those soft plastics look absolutely horrible. Now, if I'd have gone first, I'd have definitely chosen them. No doubt about it, I'd have gone for the plastics. Just because of a bigger variety, but they are awful. Yeah, really, Genuinely really awful. terrible. <laughs> um, like, to the point where it's not worth a pound. It's not often you it's say that a piece a of fishing kit isn't worth a pound, no, like, but they definitely useless. aren't. This little guy, just here, might actually be worth a pound. <laughs> you have to work it really hard. It's a proper twitch minnow, so you know, lots of dives and weaves and a good rattle to it. I, I felt confident from the first cast that this might produce a fish. I'd assumed it was going to be a pike though. I mean, I'm ripping that bait back. That perch has smashed it. It was awesome. Like Brilliant. It, could, it looks really good in the water as well. What should we do in the meantime? Shall I keep on fishing this or should I go on the soft plastics? Ah, would be interesting. Try the soft plastics. Right. Please try the soft plastics. We'll carry on the challenge for the, for the time being. I'll fish those soft plastics and we'll see what happens in the next 40 minutes. Perhaps I'm just really bad. I don't believe that. And it's not the lure's fault. It's mine. We'll see. I'll give them a go. That looks absolutely <laughs> horrible. <laughs> this one works okay, I be. Now the rest of the internet won't be able to see the look I just got given, but I'll remember it for a long time. It's one of those looks that sends shivers down your spine. I'm in a lot of trouble. And without dinner. <laughs> Jaws, that to a pretty disappointing end. Uh, no more bites, no more follows, no more interest. So I think what's going to happen now is that uh, I be now will meet you guys back at the car and uh, we'll talk about my victory and Yever's defeat. That's exactly what's going to happen. So I lost. <laughs> I'd like to be really smug about this, but ultimately I think the whole evening was a bit of a fail. I was so hopeful about those lures. I mean, one pound for three jig heads and 17 soft plastics. It sounded too good to be true, and ultimately it was. Yeah, it really was. I mean, the hard bait worked out for you. Yeah, that hard bait's cool, it's actually. Right. It's all right. I mean, obviously I haven't tested the hooks properly and all that stuff, but the action was good as a, as a little twitch minnow goes. It was all right. I, 
I think I'd use it again, but those soft plastics, crikey, they are <laughs> awful. <laughs> they are genuinely terrible. Not the best. They're like a brick. They have no movement in them. It's as if whoever made those baits has set out to make a really bad bait because anyone, anyone with half an ounce of common sense would have tested those when they made them and thought, wow, these are dreadful and thrown them all away and started all over again. Unfortunately, they didn't, which means they're currently on the shelves in shops in the UK. Um, and with that said, we do have a spare <laughs> that like the plan was that we're going to buy because I picked up two of each. So two soft plastic uh, packs and two hard baits. I mean, wanted to give away one of the packs to you guys. But yeah, the, yeah, the plan was we'd come down, we'd catch a load of fish and we'd announce to the world that we found a new mystery bait that you're all going to love. And that hasn't happened. Um, we were going to do a giveaway, um, but we quite like you guys and wouldn't wish those baits on anyone. On anyone, really. no. In fact, you know, having said that, if anyone wants them, let us know in the comments section. First person in the comments section who wants these lures, you can have them. In fact, I'll probably personally drop them off to your house because you'd be doing us a huge favour. Uh, yeah. I want I want them out of the fishing room <laughs> as quickly as yeah, possible. Yeah. I mean, yes. Yeah. So if you guys want, we have one hard bait, one soft plastic pack. So just let us know. Yeah, first person to comment gets the goodies. Uh, speaking of goodies, all the kit that we use is listed in our um, description in the little box below. So if you want to check out the rods, the reels, all that stuff, uh, it's all down there. It's all available. Uh, and we've given you links so if you want to buy anything. You can get it all off the internet. In the meantime, I reckon you owe me some chips. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you liked it. Um, please subscribe. Yeah, please subscribe to the channel because we've got more stuff coming, ideally with slightly better baits than we've used this evening. And um, more fish. Yeah, and probably a few more fish as well. Uh, like it, subscribe, share, and we'll see you again very, very soon. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye.